You know, Larry, one of the big challenges with today's tightly constructed homes is the fresh air inside. We're talking indoor air quality. What are some of the options to help bring in fresh air to our home? Well, to do it controllably, it's nice to use a product called a heat recovery ventilator or an energy recovery ventilator. Fresh air is needed, so you've got one of two ways. One is you cut a hole in the wall and introduce fresh air, which is counterproductive to what we're trying to do, which is increase efficiency and lower our utility costs. What this product will do is actually control ventilation on demand. It will go ahead and be turned on based on humidity and also based on a runtime per day so that while we're in the home, you need X amount of CFM to be able to move through that home. CFM being cubic feet of air so we can freshen the air up. Let's take a look on the inside just to show you what physically happens. It's called a heat recovery ventilator and this is the process through this cell that heat of the exhaust air is transferred to the cold dry air coming back in. And that process is between 65 to 75 percent efficient. So we're going to be recouping 65 to 75 percent of the usable heat before we exhaust it outside. And that's because again you're taking that air that you've already paid to heat in the winter months mm -hmm. and you want to exhaust that because that's really considered stale air and you want exactly. to bring in the fresh outside air but that air could be you know, zero or 10 below zero oh, coming yeah. in, that would really lessen the efficiency of our heating system in the house. Yeah. This enables it to be raised up to, you said within 65 to 75%. Yeah, 65 to 75%. So it does a great job that way. And as long as we're in here, let's look a little bit of the maintenance that's necessary for the homeowner. There's a filter that basically traps the big particles. This would be something to have them take out and clean on an annual basis. And then also outside, there is a fresh air intake. That has a tendency over time to have lint and particles from the air to actually trap on it because you know, there is going to be a screen on there. That needs to be cleaned off periodically as well. But that's about it for maintenance on it. So pretty simple just being an observant homeowner. Now where are these HRVs typically installed in a home? Generally you're going to find them in the basement near where the furnace is. What this is going to do is interconnect to the duct system in the house as well as then hook up to the air ducts that we have going outside. So there'll be an exhaust duct where we push the stale air out of the home and then down the sidewall farther away from that exhaust duct we'll have a fresh air duct bringing the fresh air back into the unit. You know I've had an opportunity to visit some homes that take advantage of this technology and it's incredible. You walk in it just smells fresh all the time. Okay. This one looks like a horizontal unit. Is this essentially the same, just a different configuration? Yep, this is a little different configuration. Again, depending on where the location of the unit's going to have to go in the home, that's going to determine which model we would have to put in there that's going to best fit the space. And again, that's something that the dealer is going to have to come out, take a look at, to be able to accommodate the right unit for the application. Okay, and then obviously we're talking winter months here. What about in the summer months? Is it still an effective tool to have in the home? It is. As we cocoon, you know, we shut our homes up and run the air conditioning more, it's becoming as important in the summertime to introduce fresh air into the home as it is in the wintertime. So what this does is still on a controlled ventilation mode, will run a certain percentage of the time per hour to introduce fresh air into the space controllably and still through that heat exchange process do it cost effectively. Sure, just in reverse and you want to keep the cool air that you paid to cool down, you don't want to have that all just go straight out to the outdoors and bring in warm human air. It does the exchange there, so that's good. Do you find these being more common in new construction, obviously? Yeah, new construction is the biggest application where they're used. However, many people now, they moved into a new home. Their living styles may be drastically different than the prior owner. If they notice a lot of humidity in the wintertime on the windows, they would be a good candidate to put one of these apparatuses in to be able to go ahead and start to dry that air out and introduce more fresh air into the home all of the time that they're actually in there. Makes sense to me, a great example of the industry continuing to evolve and the, the need to talk to your contractor so you understand all your options to have an incredibly fresh smelling home. Exactly.